Welcome to Move Me. I'm Dave Fleeson, also known as Sun Tzu, and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to land a punch with Move Me in Unity. So this is the animation that we're working with that we motion captured. And let's take a look at it on the website. So we went to the web version. We uploaded here in Capture. Go into our task and these are the ones that we've saved out. I'm going to click on this one here to view it. And this shows the capture. I'm going to download the character and animation which has the mesh and the animation which doesn't have mesh. And hit close. That way at least I have both to play with in case I need to use them. And let's go over into Unity. All right, so we're in Unity. And uh, let me empty my class folder real quick here. So we can start from scratch. All right, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the various elements in here. Uh, first off, I just created a basic environment here. Um, as a starting point and um, I'm going to bring in a character in this case I have a boxer that I got from actor core but you can bring in different um, the different ones all right this one is my prefab that I set up okay so there's my my boxer that we'll be using and Normally this will not have a um, a controller set to it, so we have to create one. So let's go and set this up in here. So I'm going to create what's called an animation controller. And I say create, it's about um, halfway down to two thirds down animation controller, or animator controller rather. And I want to move, make sure I know what this is. This is the Boxer uh, Move Me Animator Controller. I select the, uh, in the hierarchy, which is the one on the left here next to the scene, which are basically the same thing, just this one in the middle is the 3D version of the hierarchy. This is everything that's in our scene. We click there and we have over here on the animator in the property inspector, uh, it has a controller here under the animator. I'm going to take this one I just created. I'm going to drop it in there. And that's what we're going to put our animations into. So let's bring our animations that we just downloaded in. Let's see here. Let me go get those from my downloads. Um, so let's see here. I have these two files, which I'm bringing over, which are two animations. And the first one is the rig by itself. As you see, it has this little circle with the, like almost like a play button. Uh, it basically expands it. You're seeing all the things that are nested inside of it. So I, I can hit play here and you can see it's playing out. So I'm just going to take that and bring it in. Uh, reason I want to separate is because I don't want the mesh and everything else to go with it. I just want the animation. So I don't want the additional things with the spine and things like that. But before I do this, I have to make sure that I've set the file up correctly. So when I just select the file, the rig itself with the mesh model on it, it has up here that it's generic. In order for this to work, both the character and the animation have to be humanoid. So we set it to humanoid and we hit apply. And um, then I take this and I bring it, um, I'm going to duplicate that portion. So I open it up and I want just the part that has the animation on it. So you, see, you can see here, this is the mesh. This one is the animation. I can hit play and see it play out. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to duplicate it with control D or we can go do that in the edit menu up here for duplicate. And now you see it's made a new file with just the animation. So I want to label that so I know what it is. This is the move me 
uh, punch. Okay, so I have my move me punch. Come back here to my character. Oh, and I'll also show you real quick here before I do that. When we are on the punch, you can see here, this is the default character they have for Unity, but you can also switch it out. And that, that's an easy way to tell that you have the right file. I come up here to the hierarchy on the left-hand side and I have my boxer and it has a controller here. I double click on that controller and this is what an animation controller looks like. So you have your entry states, you have any state with things that you want to run, and if you need to use the exit, you have those as your three basic buttons. Now, you can also bring additional things into here too to add to it. Uh, so things that we want for it to do on entry, if we want it to start off with the move me punch, I can click this and drag it in, and there it is. And if I ever need to edit it, I still have over here, I can just click this and it takes me back to it. And then I can edit. So if there's things I want to change with it, if I want to loop the time on it, so that it just plays back to back. In this case, we're just going to leave it as one play. If I want to change things with the root transformation for the rotation, the transforms, uh, the root transform position for X, Z, or Y, that can all be set here. If I needed to mirror it so that it's uh, doing exactly the opposite, I can do that as well. Um, and I can bake those into the poses. So you have those options there. And then when I click on this, I also have an option here for foot IK, so I can uh, lock it into foot IK as well, which is inverse kinematics. And I can mirror here as well. Now, if I wanted to take a pose and use it over and over again, I could loop it or I could actually duplicate it here and have it go back and forth to itself. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to copy and paste. And there's the punch again, and I can say make transition, and then make transition for it to go back to itself. So there it's basically looping back and forth between itself. So in this case, we're just gonna delete this one and let's see how it works. Go back to scene and hit play. You can see our camera's in the wrong position for us to really see this. So what we do is we select the uh, character. You can hit F to focus if you like. You got your main camera here. We can uh, bring that in. It's um, with main camera selected in the hierarchy. I come over here to uh, to the game object and I say align with view and that makes my camera zoom into where I was. And now I can hit play. Oh, I, and it should be just right. And there you go. Now we can add some additional things in. You can put things into your scene like a ring. Uh, you can change out your uh, lighting and you can, in your environment setting here, you can even change your um, your setting as far as uh, having um, a wraparound skybox as we're doing here. If we wanted him in a different environment. Okay. Um, I did have one preloaded. I'll go ahead and open that scene. Uh, open scene. And here we are. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit play. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give our free web version of MoveMe a try, or as a premium member, you'll be able to gain access to even more features in the software version. Enjoy the reality with MoveMe. It's the ideal motion capture software for game developers and 3D animators. Hey, thanks for watching.